Hey, y'all. How are ya? Scorpio, it's been a while. <laughs> How are you? Oh my gosh. It's your turn. So we're going to do a general reading for you for the next, I don't know, two weeks, let's call it. This is for Scorpio for the next two weeks-ish. Scorpio, I already shuffled these. Let's get started. So, Scorpio, next two weeks we got the Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands reversed, Sun reversed, Six of Wands, Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. Scorpio, you've got a really happy family life going on here. You've got your long-term plan. You've got your retirement set up. You've got the kids playing happily outside, taking care of each other. No need to even, you know, really have to watch them much anymore. They're very mature, responsible young adults. Um, you got a dog that takes itself out for walks and everything. It's like that episode of The Simpsons where Marge gets everything done to, for her and then she doesn't know what to do, so she starts drinking wine. Okay. We've got a King of Wands reverse and the Sun reverse. Now, this is like a yeah, yeah, yeah energy. Like, yeah, that's, I know that they're a dummy, but that's my dummy. Something like that. Um, this person is quite lazy, stubborn, resistant. Yeah, unmotivated. They're like a bad version of the dude. And they don't even see it about themselves, but maybe something's coming for this person because we have the Six of Wands. Maybe they have a personal triumph. Maybe they actually, like, do something great, you know. Maybe this is you. Maybe you haven't done anything great in a long time and, and you want that sense of greatness back. Scorpio is like the Slytherins, you know. I like the Slytherins. I would totally be a Slytherin. Yes. But in my copy of the book... The Slytherins would win. Anyways, because that's what they're supposed to do. Like, win, 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 win. Okay? Anyways, Scorpio. Um, the Laurel Reef here. It's a little bit of a braggart energy. It's a little bit of that soldier returning home. Everybody cheering for the soldier. Um, this person has been through a long journey. Their hair got really long. Okay, so I do feel like this is well-deserved, whatever is coming for you. You're going to have a win. This is about you. You're going to have a win, like a big one. It's going to feel really good, triumphant. Stage lights on you. Um, and I show that it, it's like something big enough to like induce anxiety over. Social anxiety, stage fright. Things that make you go home. I see a lot of... Um, you know, it's funny because there's a lot of demons from your past here that are constantly swimming in your head like this is why you're doing what you're doing that was a morning dove um this is why you're doing what you're doing and um one of the folks this is for somebody that passed away when you were young maybe two people and um you hear these memories and voices and characters and you see the, the characters replayed in other people and this was your high school life, you know? They said the swordfish. I'm not sure what that means, swordfish. I don't know. Maybe you're out eating swordfish and some yeah, who knows. I'm not like one of those readers. But um, I do feel like a really happy energy around you. Uh, I feel like you're kind of in a funk, kind of feeling lazy, but you're going to do something triumphant that makes you feel very powerful. It makes you very nervous, um, but also it's like a, for it's, it's meant for you. All of that past energy is what drives this courage and this victory. All of that past energy is what drives this courage and this victory. Something here, Scorpio, is uh, being taken away. Page of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's not telling you something about an opportunity. Even though you did the best, you're getting overlooked or something. Because there's a sun reversed and the Page of Pentacles reverse. Let's see what's going on. The connecting energies are the Magician, the Page of Wands reverse, the High Priestess reverse, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Wands reverse. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, I guess you were the one that... Um, 
foolishly asked for this energy to come into your life. And now hindsight is 2020. That's that high priestess reverse there. The sun reversed into the six of wands. Like you see it after the fact, like you had to experience it to believe it. Page of wands reversed. You got some bad news. Like you didn't make it, even though you were manifesting, making it. You're manifesting better health. You're manifesting more energy. You're trying to get off your butt. You're trying. And it's like, man, I just don't feel like it. And so hindsight in 2020, you're, oh, I see. You're understanding your self-partnership, because there's a two of cups here. Your self-partnership with yourself saying, oh, it's got to be intrinsically motivated. It can't be force. I, wanna, I have to want to do it for me to do it. So there's that. But then there's also this thing that's like making you humble and realize, yes, my person is very different from me, but boy, do I love them. And your person has this loving energy to say, hey, you're my winner. You win. Like you didn't win the thing, but you win me. I'll be your two of cups. So this person is very supportive. Is a very queer, open, prismatic, I love that word, um, loving energy here. Is a very feminine energy here. That, what is the feminine? Oh, they said more cards. Okay, the moon, the eight of swords, the knight of swords reversed, and the two of swords reversed. Final answer, put my foot down. There's some hidden stuff here. I just kind of peeked at the six of cups here and the ten of swords. Uh, put my foot down. On what? What are we putting our foot down on that's in the future of this reading? Um, the moon is a buried secrets. Um, Scorpio, you're the master of buried secrets, of secretivity and, and all that stuff that I don't understand as a Leo. But... Um, you know, it's like, you know what secrets these are. Um, oh, no, actually. Okay, so you were manifesting. You use, okay, I see. You usually know how the social structures work. You're usually really good at being ahead of gossip and like things like that and be like, I'm not going to let that bother me. Those people have no effect on me. But this time it did. This time you got caught up in something and we all do. Okay, like you're not above it. Yeah, there's a bunch of lizards on her pants. So, like, yeah, there's a bunch of takers here. And um, you got caught up in the drama. You got caught up in the drama, but you kept things a secret. It kind of puts you in your head a lot because you, it affects your success and your productivity. And so this tying up of your mind is all up in this business of other people or your business or how you look. And really, like, the, the the two of cups, like, when they come to you to comfort you, you get in a fight. You take it the wrong way. You push it off. It's not what your, it's not what your intuition is telling you to do at all. You want that love and that you still fight it off because that's within you, buddy. Scorpio, you got to love yourself. Okay. Two of swords reverse is like a final decision, though, just to stop competing. Five of wands reverse two of cups stop competing listen to your person it sounds like your person is coaching you through this stuff everyone's everyone's yelling so it's gone from nine birds to eight birds to two birds that's not bad and the birds in this one are upside down so maybe these birds are falling off of you uh-huh yeah yep 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 yeah because that person always has your back they're always there for you they they they're your lover they're they're the soulmate Okay, nothing's changed here. Nothing's changed here. You've got this um, forever with this person. You have your counterpart. It's, it's uh, meant for most of you. Could be a Sagittarius. But I do see a lot of... Um, What's the word? Like endearing energy, like qualities. I see, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I see that um, you have these little epiphanies all the time and sometimes they're false. 
and they're just like you overthinking and you being like, oh, that was stupid. Like, it got, it got, it gets me like Chris Farley. Like, the Scorpios have this energy of being like, that was, that was dumb. You guys are right. Like, you know, like they, you have this really like cuddly uh, way of admitting you're wrong. I don't think this is you admitting you're wrong. Okay. Um, I almost don't want to keep going. Okay. Very, very um, slow to romance on this one. Very, very patient with that. Um, Because you know that the love is there waiting for you. (laughs) Three of Wands reverse. Not waiting for you, actually. (laughs) How How do you go about the temperance? With the Three of Wands reversed. Because this temperance here, it certainly looks a lot like the devil to me. But this temperance guy looks, looks like they said, like, it's a surprising energy. Like, that's a thing that I don't want to fuck. It's weird. Like, I don't know what that, where that comes from. Like, it's like a Scorpio learning that people are human. It's like a really ill, ill-aspected ill Scorpio learning that people are actually human beings and they can have platonic energies. You can do things just for the sake of it, like not, not to have sex with everything or something like that. Like agenda-less living. Intrinsic motivation. Scorpio. Repeating theme. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this helps. Enjoy your next two weeks. Ciao, babe.